All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and uh, uh, look like I am late for you. I thought it's going to be like actually uh, eight minutes from now, but look like I have the time a little bit earlier. So I apologize. Uh, before we start, we made a video just uh, um, about an hour ago, and I want to show you some of the comments made by the Muhammadan. Uh, you know, the Muhammadan are very upset. I mean, it's very embarrassing. But I want to show you just some of the comments, which is really, I find it very funny. And I find it very helpful. Uh, let me show you here. I'll go down. All right. Where is the Mohammedan? You know, we don't delete their comment because they are very useful. I'm dying of laughter watching CP struggle to read a simple paragraph of English text. Well, I'm dying at laughter too that you are following a prophet who do not know how to read his name. I mean, first of all, I was, I, I was uh, 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 making that voice as he did in his video making fun of me, you stupid idiot. Secondly, if reading is an issue for you, how you follow a donkey who do not know how to write his name? Not even his own language. At least I speak languages. You're a prophet if we put the word donkey and the word Muhammad in the front of him and we ask him which one is you, he might point his finger at you. I mean donkey. And then he said, here in the comment down there uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, let us see here you know people are just laughing at his stupidity uh, if you have a grammar reading problem please ask Muhammad to correct your mistake Abdul they read okay he is using simple English people are trying to don't explain to them those are stupid people they are just you know we knew the whole point the whole point is that the hadith which you said it's false is true you see they try to make it personal to avoid the problem what kind of a prophet and look what he said uh, they actually not meaningless meaningless what happened here that we see CP too incompetent to teach every anyone about anything a big part of the information literacy is being able to recognize authority in certain field if i want to know about this hadith why muhammad p p u h h h f m slept with his wives in one day or if he even did that as the hadith says he visited them and i go to relevant, a, a, a relevant authority to learn uh, which uh, uh, which hadith he is talking about. This is sorry, I, I, the screen was off. So look at look at this with me. He is saying that if you want to go and understand something, you go to the authority. What are you idiot? I'm quoting your books, your imams. So this is not my book. You see, my book is quoting your book. So. If I need to go to the authority, I'm using the Islamic authority. I'm not saying Christian Prince said. This is number one. Number two, you liar, you said. The, the Hadith says he visited them. Does it say that? Well, here we go. Uh, actually, no, hold on. Uh, before we go there, there's a, one of them, he said that uh, uh, Fifi, he wanted to see the Hadith exactly as it is. Well, here we go, as it is. So we will answer both of them. This is Fathul Bari, you idiot. As you see, this is Google Translate, Google uh, Books. And this is the Hadith, you idiot. And he is talking about having sex with them. Read carefully, you idiot. Ah, I forgot you do not know Arabic like your prophet. You do not know how to write his name. Here they are talking about the prophet. I will quote even from before my quotation, so you, you, you can get the picture better. Let us read carefully. 
Oh, I forgot you do not know how to read. It says that from the most amazing miracle, even though he is busy with worshipping, his God and his knowledge and dealing with people, and he was tired from... Uh, 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 so, sorry, he was uh, like he do. Uh, he don't eat much and drink much, which make his body weak. To be able to f as many, kuthratu jima. You are lying, saying he just visited his wives, and then he says wama adalika. And even though he used to go around his wives. In a night, your brother Farid, he corrected me. He says, not every day, in a night. But this is something he do. In a day, in a night, or day, it's the same. يغسلوا بغسل واحد. In one washing. Which means he if his wives, one after one, without washing. And when he finish, he wash. And they were 11 women at that time. And look. You say that I did not quote the whole hadith, it's there. And he said, actually here, quoting, he's saying, and this is what we mentioned before in the book of washing, Kitabul Ghusl. And it said, in all of this, uh, that uh, that's, uh, the one who is very uh, uh, good in worshipping, like he fear Allah, his sexual desire is way more strong. Because the one who is not fearing Allah, he only can watch, which means he cannot do. I mean, this is not about sex. And this is not the hadith he's asking for. And it's not exist. Here we go. <laughs> the other idiot, he said, oh, he showed us English, you idiot. I was translating Google because people do not use, they don't know Arabic. So I use Google translation in the search engine so people, they can see what we are talking about. Idiots, idiot, like they say in the Pink Panther, idiot. <laughs> uh, and not only that, actually, here the whole the whole thing is about sex because here even after that he says, and you know uh, some like as an example Al Qurtubi he said here and Al, and Al Qurt. Hold on, they said that uh, this person he did not say. This is not his saying. This is what people said. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid people more than those? It says, it says, it says, this is his, him talking. وَقَدْ وَقَعَ لِلنَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ أَبْلَغُ الْمُعْجِزَةِ he is, he is talking that the Prophet, it happened to the Prophet. This is the amazing miracle. What is the amazing miracle? That he can have sex with all those women in one night. He is talking. And then he add at the end, he says, and they said, they said, and he continues saying that the one who is fearing Allah, his sexual desire is way more strong. However, just to show you how people are stupid, at the end of the day, he is saying what he heard because you donkey, this guy, he was not in the bedroom of Muhammad to witness. Secondly, whoever saying that, he himself is saying what he heard from your prophet. Because I'm sure that Muhammad, he don't use to open his camera and people watch, or maybe they are watching from the window of the bedroom. So for sure, this is, he said, she said, they said, they said, but all of this is authentic and even we can find it in Al-Bukhari. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, Al-Bukhari, where is the most uh, I mean, uh, let us say, embarrassing book. See, because my English is weak, my friend, sometimes I try to find the words. Embarrassing book. Look, this is Al-Bukhari. The liar, he said, it did not say he has sexual intercourse. It says that he had visited them. Read, you idiot. Coward. So, desperately, they try to defend but we get you busted. Now we go to back to our topic. There is no need to talk about those donkeys. You know, actually, I should not insult donkeys. And imagine here, just before we continue to our topic, we Christians we are proud about Jesus, who have no sin, who make the blind see, 
who told the man who cannot walk, carry your bed and walk, who forgives sin, who made the one who is dead come from the grave, who healed the leper, and they are proud about the penis of their prophet, which is obviously not true, even that is false. Because in the book of Sahih al-Bukhari, we find that the prophet, he don't have sex with his wives. In fact, he was imagining. And if you say that the prophet, only in this case, he was imagining. I have a student, or sorry, the master of Fifi, who called me in the other day, and the video is there. Somebody can post it. Uh, he said that the prophet was not able to do this for 11 or one year. Why? Because a Jew, he made for him 11 knots and took Allah 11 months to fix it. So for 11 months or one year, your prophet was not doing boom, boom, at least. So what women you are talking about? And not to forget to mention that your prophet said, I was the most weak person between mankind. In sexual intercourse and then I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of al kufait which is a dish of meat and I ate it and I get the power uh, of 40 men hmm? now we uh, we made a video about it and uh, people they you know they saw it but we can we can mention this again give me a second hold on it doesn't hurt my friend so we can love <laughs> and by the way the book we mentioned uh, it says that the Prophet, the one I was quoting from, uh, a gem or Sagir, it says that the Prophet have a power of 4,000 men. Don't forget to mention this. This is what they are proud about. Let us see here. All right. There is many, many, uh, many books, but we will show some of them. Uh, let me see if I can find an Islamic website. Here we go. This is an Islamic website, and I will show the the title so nobody will say we are making things up. It's taking long to load. Give me a second. Here we go. And this is the proof that your prophet, he is unable to have sex look what the name of the title what the title is dhukira or dhikra ma atiya rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min quwwati jima' mentioning what the prophet sallallahu alayhi pray or for him not to, not to him uh, uh, from ability of doing boom boom quwwati jima' the ability of sex and now what i will do because you do not speak arabic it's not my fault but this is the hadith number, one by one, and this is your Islamic website. Let me show you that this is your Islamic website first. All right. Hadithportal.com. Hadithportal.com. Jami'u sunnah wa shuruhaha. The collection of sunnah and explaining for it. All right. This is volume number 10. Volume number 10. Dhikru ma'atiyah, mentioning what is the prophet he been given as power for sex. Now I'm going to click at Google Translation right in the front of your face. So you will see what it says in English, even though, you know, Google Translation is not really accurate. Translate. Here we go. What is the title, brother? Let us zoom out. <laughs> I mean, what a filthy cult. This is what you are proud about? The private part of your prophet? Guys, do you see do you see the title? This is Google translation. I have nothing to do with it. Recalling what the messenger of Allah, may Allah pray on him, see prayer on him, and peace upon him was given from the power of intercourse. But 
What the hero, man? What the hero? The power of intercourse. I mean, he must be amazing prophet. He can do a lot of boom, boom. And by the way, all is fabricated. Even that is, a, is false. And look. Hadith. Hadith number. 10021. No CP. It doesn't say that CP. We've been told by Muhammad ibn Umar, blah, 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 that the messenger, he said, I was the less people in sexual intercourse. He was what? He was what? What? He was the less of the people in sexual intercourse. Okay, how you know, Muhammad, that you are the less people? What does that mean? Your private part will not stand up unless you play the anthem. Even the anthem will not make it move, isn't it? So your prophet himself, he said, he said, not me. He have nothing, nothing. Zzz, hey, hey, come on, move. Zzz. We give him, we give him Viag Viagra. We give him, and look, Allah, he sent him a Viagra, brother. Until Allah, he sent to me, not revealed. He sent to me al kufait And anytime I want it, like right away, fast, like an hour. An hour in the old days is like 15 minutes. So, but I found it right away. Anytime I wish to F women because his penis is not working, brother. Allah, he sent him the, the kebab. Huh? Now, go down in the different hadith. Uh, been told by Umar, blah, 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 blah. They said the messenger of Allah, uh, Jibreel, came to him and he gave him meat to eat. And I was given the power of 40 men of boom, boom. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is the stupid Google translation. Hmm. Go down. The prophet of uh, bees upon him said, uh, I mean, the translation is really horrible. That Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it and he got the power. And anytime he needed, Allah, he sent him a dish right away in an hour, like 15 minutes. Different hadith. Look how many hadith. I mean, look at this. Uh, it says that the prophet, uh, peace be upon him, he used to go around the night, that's what it's mean, uh, 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 to his wives. At that time, they were nine. And when, like, uh, uh, what is this translation? I mean, this translation is horrible. Let me see it in Arabic <laughs> so we can translate this. Okay. So, and he used to go around in the night. And his wife at that time they were uh, in, uh, nine uh, and then he uh, uh, like he go from from woman to women i mean the translation really is horrible let us see hadith number one zero zero two five um, yeah it's the same actually you know it's the same and the last one is the same too like you know and allah he gave him the power of 40 uh, 40 men you know 40 i mean not not 39 uh, 40 you know the translation is really horrible but look your prophet himself he confirmed that he was the lowest between mankind in boom boom and this is actually confirmed by the story of aisha because aisha she confirmed that the prophet he used to imagine himself having boom boom and you tell me what what is the what is the illness of a man who is imagining that he is having sex with his wives but in fact he did not i mean what is the problem exactly so all of which we see is about sex muhammad amazing prophet allah gave him power nobody have any witnesses i mean how the muslims even measure that muhammad or muhammad himself when he say i get the power of 40 men how he measure it did he have like a he brought Aisha and he told her, okay, you sleep with me and then you sleep with all those men and let us see who do better. <laughs> anyway, I think we are done with this. So your answers are funny, stupid and very embarrassing. And your God and your religion is very sexual. This is why Sex in Allah is the best book to explain this cult and the target of it. 
all this 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 cult nothing about it except sex what is my reward if i go and fight and do jihad and believe in allah women sex you know vagina penis that's it this is the truth as it is uh, islam to make it simple is a sexual cult based on the west and down from your stomach and down try to tempt you by food and sex and drink if you read the whole Quran what is the heaven food and sex and drink what is my reward food and sex and drink for how long forever even Muhammad he said in one of the uh, 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 you know uh, uh, quotation that a person in heaven he will have 70 years orgasm and the exaggeration of the promise for this is nothing but a sexual cult 70 years Muhammad had got the power of 4,000 men I mean get the power of 4,000 men or let us say in running maybe no swimming maybe no intelligence maybe no it is penis power penis power brother now we go to our topic if you go in the internet you will find that all Islamic countries are targeting people who they are like uh, you know uh, who they are serious about Islam as long as you are a normal Muslim maybe Muslim by name you are fine the second you are serious they target you and you will be arrested immediately this is Tajikistan which is a country refuse Islam and ban the Quran as I remember I don't know if now it's still banned so they ban the Quran for Islam is a dangerous cult but not only in countries like Tajikistan, you know, Tajikistan it is it is fighting Islam Saudi Arabia arrest thousands and thousands of serious Muslims Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, Egypt, Algeria, Tunisia, I mean you name it. As long as you are a Fifi Mumu Muslim, you are welcome. Grow your beard, no problem. But don't be serious. So what is behind the Islamic rejection to Islam? Because those are the real Muslims. I mean, if Muslims don't want to practice Islam, so who should practice Islam? The Christians? Right? Who is the one should practice Islam? If the Christians uh, read Sunan Ibn Dawood, what about Sunan Ibn Dawood, my friend? Here we go. This is a this is a Bukhari donkey. Here we go. Hmm. Guys. This guy is a Muslim, he's smart. Okay, here we go. This is Al-Bukhari. Do you have better than Al-Bukhari? CP. I'm reading your text, you idiot. Is that Al-Bukhari? Do you see it? Do you see it? This is how we do it. <laughs> what, a, what a kid. Anyway, so they are fighting the Islamic uh, uh, movement. Anyone want to take Islam seriously, he is a target, he is under sovereign. They, they watch them carefully, they arrest them, they spy on them, and they get them busted. But what is the reason? What is the reason behind this? Why Islamic government, Islamic countries, are really targeting those Muslims? What is exactly the problem? The problem is very simple. Practicing Islam will bring destruction to Islamic countries. This is why we have to fight it. Right? Otherwise, I challenge anyone to tell me why. 
you know, when the Islam Islamists, they win the election in Algeria, what the Algerian people did? They won the election. How they win the election if the Algerians are against them? Because nobody went to vote. You know, the Muslims, are, like Muslim Brotherhood, they are very well organized. So people are relaxed. They don't go to election. They don't believe in election. They don't believe it's going to happen, really. They don't believe that uh, there is even something called election. The Muslim Brotherhood and those Islamic parties are very well organized. So they swarm, and not only that, they do fraud. They send a truck carry people from station to station to station. The same people voting many times, many times, many times. The same that they do in Egypt, the same they do in Tunisia, the same they do in Algeria. And then suddenly, the Muslims winning. And people then they know that that's going to be true. And we will never let them to control us. Then they start putting them in jail. The same as happened with Hamas and the other terrorist group, Fatah. You know, when Hamas, when they, when they, they won the election, the Muslims, terrorists, Fatah, they fought with them and they start shooting at each other and they killed hundreds of the, each other. Same in Syria. Same in Jordan. I mean, when the last time the king of Jordan who claimed that he is a son of, from the sons of Muhammad, he practiced Islam. I mean, what, what is Islam in Jordan? Where is Islam in Emirat? Where is Islam in Qatar? And you know, Islamic Islamic cult, it is not a religion, it is a government. Which means, if there is no government, there is no Islam. So what is behind this? The answer is very simple. Muslims, they reject Islam. Let me tell you why Islam is rejected by Muslims. Music is forbidden. If you play music and you are under Islamic control, they will beat the hell of you and they might even kill you. It is haram, which means forbidden, no music. Well, name for me one Muslim don't listen to music and don't watch belly dancing. Actually, if you go right now and check in Google Trend, According to according to Google, that number one people who search for porn in the world are Pakistan, Islamic country, right? We have a Muslim who want to challenge you. Who is this? Who? Where is the Muslim going to challenge me? All of them they want to challenge me, but yeah. anyway. So music is forbidden and look in here one of the lies of muhammad if you notice with me muhammad he said that the muslims if they play music and if they drink which mean whatever of them they do allah will turn them into monkeys and pigs well when the last time we saw a muslim he turned into a monkey and a pig because he's he drunk wine or he listened to music do you see the madness of this man So Islam is not practical. Islam is false. Islam is stupid. So no music, okay, and no drinking, okay, and no smoking, okay, but all of them, they do all of this. And not only that, Islam is a government, which means it's not like it is a sin and that's it. No. Islam is a government, which means if there's no government, there is no Islam. So the existence of, of Islam is based on the existence of government. It's not just an existence of idea and some believers. And by the way, all those they claim to be believers, they are liars. All of them, they have TV in their houses. They watch music and they watch movies and they watch porn. And Allah, he did not allow you to watch porn. He promised you porn in heaven, not now. Actually, he promised you porn. You can do porn, but legally, not by watching TV. Like Mary 4, which is porn, you know, for some. Uh, Muhammad himself, he used to listen to music, but he is a hypocrite. You know, when uh, uh, when uh, uh, Abu Bakr he entered the house of uh, of Muhammad, and he found women singing and playing a drum in the house of Muhammad. Uh, he said to Muhammad, "The instrument of Shaitan in the house of the Prophet." Let us find the hadith.
And here you see the hypocrisy of this man. Let us show you the hadith. You see, Sahih al-Bukhari. Abu Bakr came to my house while too small and sorry. What do you mean too small? It doesn't say so as small. Jawari, slave, slave girls. Uh, uh, you know, here they will say to you, it doesn't say really uh, slave. Okay, maybe they are a slave. Okay, maybe. But they are not small. They are Jawari. They are young youth, let us say. Uh, and you know, remember that Muhammad himself, his wife was six years old. I mean, so how small they are. We're singing beside me the story of Al Ansar concerning blah, 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 blah. And they were not singers, Abu Bakr, he said, musical of instrument of shaitan in the house of Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, it's okay. Every house have, every nation have a Eid, which means have a holiday. And today is holiday. But he said, the instrument of shaitan. Uh, in the house of the Prophet. Uh, why Abu Bakr, he, saw, he thought those are instruments of shaitan. In different hadith, actually, we have a hadith where girls from, uh, let us see, uh, from Ethiopia, Let me find the hadith. <clears throat> Just to show you, uh, you know, the hypocrisy of this man. Let us see. I don't like to mention something unless like, I find it. Because you see, you know, we show it and then still they say it doesn't say that. Okay. Let's see if I can find this hadith in English. This website is very horrible when you like you look for something show you anything have contained the words okay hold on but anyway obviously Muhammad is very hypocrite man and even he used to drink and he teach Muslims how to make wine Let us see. Let 
Let us see this one. I think this one we will find it in English. Because there is two, actually there's many, but you see the problem is finding, here we go, even this one. Um, of course, this website have only certain books. Um, <clears throat> Let us see. This is a Sahih Hadith. All right. Okay, read this one with me, guys. Finally, we find something. I mean, uh, the Messenger of Allah went out uh, for one of his expedition. Then, when he came back, a black slave girl came to him and said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, I took an oath of Allah to return in safety. I would beat in the death before you and sing." But the guy he said singing and playing a music instrument is from the shaitan. So now one of his slaves, he owned them. You see, Muhammad, he owned slave women. This woman, she is trying to please her master, Muhammad, says, I, I make an oath. If you come back, I'm going to sing for you and play. The messenger said, okay, if you have taken an oath, then beat it. Go ahead. Uh, you know, and if you don't, they don't. So she started to beat the deaf. Deaf is like the drum. And Abu Bakr entered while she was beating it. And then Ali entered while she was beating it. And then Uthman entered while she was beating it. Then Umar, he entered. So she put the deaf under her. Because Umar was a very, very ugly man. He, you know, he beat a lot of slaves. And sat upon it. She, she gets scared. So the Messenger of Allah said, Indeed, a shaitan is afraid of you, oh, oh, Omar. <laughs> Look what Muhammad, he just said. He just claimed that this woman is the shaitan. And he was allowing the shaitan to play in his present. Calling a black woman shaitan. Did you notice? Now, this is the reference because Muslims they say, no CP. It doesn't say that CP. Right? This is why it took me time because I need to find something like, because I said to you that slaves, they are, uh, you know, playing with a drum. And then, uh, you know, sometimes it's very hard really to find them in English. And this is the problem. I wish all of you speak, uh, you know, in Arabic. That will make it very easy for us to find the reference. But look, isn't it, this is the same guy who said that music is the instrument of Satan? So how he say that music? Because I mean, any kind of music, drum. Is very popular music. Let us see. <clears throat> I'm trying to find some reference in English, and this is our always target because you guys are English speaking people so we have to keep our yeah actually let us go to the Quran because the Quran forbid even not only not to play music even just speaking any any kind of talk except about Islam is haram let us go to the Quran <clears throat> 
chapter 31 verse number 6 This is the Muslim translation. If you don't understand the translation here, which is very funny, I will change it. Use different translation. Let us see uh, Yusuf Ali. Start with Yusuf Ali. Any one of you who spend his time reading, you know, talking about, uh, you know, uh, funny stories, uh, tales, uh, any any kind of conversation is not about Allah, you know. He is misleading, and those people, they will be humiliated. Now, maybe Christian Prince understanding here is limited, because the Muslim, they said, if you remember the quote, uh, a Muslim, he said, you have to go and see the authority. Okay, let us see what is the in, uh, interpretation for this verse. So, Muslim will not say Christian Prince is wrong about it. I will go to the Tafsir. The books Tafsir mean the interpretation by Muslims. Not by Christian Prince, as usual, we show you what Muslims believe. This is a chapter 31, verse number 6. Let me open the uh, Islamic website and show you. Give me a second. The Kingdom of Jordan website is not open, as usual. All right, we'll try a different website. <coughs> Thirty-one. We will put it for you on the screen in a second. Just give me a little bit, please. <clears throat> All right. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. Now remember, Ibn Kathir in English is far away from Ibn Kathir in Arabic. You know, they try to cover up big time because Ibn Kathir in Arabic itself is a cover up. You know, Ibn Kathir, he did not make his book actually to give interpretation as much as to defend Islam against the Christians in his time. So look what here it says. Um, okay. By Allah, he may not spend money on it, but it is purchasing the mean he like it, or more misguided he is, the more he likes and the more he prefer falsehood to the truth, harmful things over beneficial things. It was said that it's mean by this word. Let us see what's mean. Buying, singing, servant girl. Huh? They are Muslims, they are buying. Singing, serving girl, but Muhammad, he just he, we just saw the hadith. Muhammad himself, he have a girl. So okay, you come by slave girls, but not for singing, brother. To cook, to sleep with them, but not for singing. <laughs> and it's mean. All speeches that hinders people from seeing the signs of Allah. Any kind of speech. Any kind of speech. Will take you away from seeing the signs of Allah. This is forbidden. Mislead men, men from path of Allah. Mean, he uh, he does this to oppose Islam and his followers. Mujahid said, "This is mean. He is mocking the mocking the path of Allah." And look how they they differ in the opinion about the same verse. Everyone is giving us the first one. He starts singing, buying the slave for singing. The second one about all kind of speeches. The the third one, the one who oppose Allah. I mean, what is this? And those Allah will humiliate. All right. Allah will humiliate you if you do that. What else Allah will he do? Right? In, uh, and this is why I say it, by the way, uh, you cannot take Ibn Kathir in English as a guideline to understand Islam. Why? If we, if we highlight this now and we search for interpretation for this in Google, you will find Ibn Kathir make it clear that this is about singing. Let us see.
This is a website have all Islamic interpretation, including Ibn Kathir. Look, this is Ibn Kathir now in English. It says, "Fil wal mazamir." This is all is gone from the English translation. Where is the singing? It doesn't say anything about singing. Uh, 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 from singing and playing instrument music. This is what it's meant. Then he continue buying slave girls to sing. The part here where it says singing and instrument is gone from the english translation you know what maybe i'm wrong i will go back there let me go back to ibn kathir maybe i miss it let us see uh, where is the slave girl part um okay okay is buying singing servant where is the where is the part where it says instrumental music and singing he meant by that is instrument music and singing it's gone it is totally gone they took it off do you see it uh, did, did i miss it somewhere no i don't see it why they are saying that because this is in english and now people they will be wondering Okay, we are going to join the religion which forbid us from singing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that is not good. People will not like it. So we take it off. We take it off from the English translation. Otherwise, you need to ask yourself, I mean, why it is exist in Arabic, something, and in English, it's something else. You know what I mean? Why is that? I mean, why you don't why you don't keep it as it is? Look, the the long interpretation for the verse, which is really long, became very short. And those who speak Arabic and they claim to be Muslims here, here we go. It's in the front of you, and I will post the link here in the chat so later Muslims can check it out. Here we go. And by the way, you can open the link and you can open it in Google browser. And you can click at the page English translation and you will see that here this part is gone fil ghinai wal mazamir right it's gone this is tafsir al jalalain he is saying uh, people uh, anyone anything will make you go away from Islam I mean will keep you busy from Islam uh, here at Tabari is saying that the scholars disagree about the meaning as usual uh, uh, he said some of them who spend money to buy uh, 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 like instrument and some of them he said let us see uh, buying uh, uh, slave girls for singing uh, and some of them they said uh, let's see that I heard the prophet saying it is not lawful for you to buy the singers or selling them or or, or, or buying them I mean he just said that uh, and some of them they said the one who choose uh, uh, like speeches which has nothing to do with, with like you know just for fun and the one who like it it's haram he Allah will punish him uh, yeah anyway so all of them they are saying the same which mean anything is out of Islam is forbidden now we come from here look it says قال وهو الغنى الغنى which mean it is uh, the, the, the songs and والاستماع له and to listen to it right so it's a music, singing, and to listen to such singing. It's haram. Allah will punish you. All of those, they are... Let me let me click at uh, uh, Google Translation. Ah, so for some reason, it doesn't go. I'm not sure why. Maybe I need to click outside here. No, I did click a search. Um, let us see here. Ah, I need to open it in Google. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. You see, this is Firefox. It doesn't, Google don't support 
uh, automatic translation for it okay this is this is Google browser so let us do Google translation and right away you will see with me translate to English and right away I will type the word to make it short I will search for the word singing here we go look how many times singing it's haram singing Ibn Mas'ud said singing it's haram singing singers you know all of those are saying singer singing etc it's haram singing look so the Quran says it clearly that singing is haram music is haram and if you practice it you will go to hell well all of you Muslims will go to hell because I never saw a Muslim who don't watch music listen to music and he sing he said those who those people who buy the fun talk it's haram he said it's mean singing and listening to it do you see it so this is not a Christian prince is saying that so if you sing and listen to singing you are not a Muslim Allah will torture you okay what else anything to practice in Islam is impossible because that will take you to give time if you if you practice anything like the kuffar which is not the Muslims you are one of them as an example those Fifi and Mimi who go in videos do they wear Islamic clothes or they are wearing jeans actually I saw Mimi hijab he's wearing jeans and have many holes in it when he was with Yasser Qadiri doing interview I mean is that halal in Islam absolutely not you can go and see the videos of Isis and Al-Qaeda breaking the legs of a man just because he wears jeans it's haram it is haram this is the true Islam jeans is haram Zakir Naik he wear jacket and tie this is haram you cannot do that you are dressing like the kuffar not like the prophet let us see if this is true <clears throat> Um. All right. <clears throat> Muhammad he said it clearly the one who act like a people he is one of them the one who act their likeness which means their clothing anything you know let us see if this is true we go to the hadith and we search bingo he who imitate any people in their action he is one of them. So, if you dress like the kuffar, you are one of them. You dress jeans? This is not your clothes. This is the cowboy clothing. Everybody know that. You wear pant? This is not your clothes. This is the kuffar. You have a tie? This is the kuffar. You have a sport shoes? This is the kuffar. As simple as that. In different hadith, Muhammad even he made it more clear. Let me just find you the hadith. I remember it, but I don't know if I can find it in English. Let us see. 
uh, where he said, uh, be aware not, uh, you know, to, to do, to dress like them. He made it clear like this is about their clothing. Here we go. Let us see, this is the one. Exactly, this is the one. Omar wrote to us when we were in etc. saying, uh, uh, be aware. So feed the Muslims. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Here they are talking, by the way, they are they are stealing the money of the Christians and he is giving an order for a Muslim, giving them the food, give them, feed them, those are the Muslims, because this is not your money. This is the money we stole from the Christians. But look what it says. Be aware of the life pleasure. Hmm. What is the life pleasure? And the dress of the polytheist and wearing silk garment. So don't dress like them and don't wear silk. Don't dress like them and don't wear silk. For Allah Messenger forbid wearing the silk garment. All right. But don't dress like them anyway. Um, let us see different hadith. I'm trying to find more. <clears throat> All right. Let us see if we can find this. Hmm. Actually, look at this. Yahya related to me from Malik, from, 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 ask about animals slaughtered by a Christian Arab. He said, there is no harm in them, but he recited the ayah, whoever take them as a friend, he is one of them. How many Muslims they live in the West? Not only that, the Quran chapter 5 verse 51 says those who take them awliya as a friend and protectors, all those who live in the West, they pay tax to foreign government, which is Kuffar government. Now for sure the majority of them, they are in welfare. They are not paying anything. But still they have to obey the law of the Kuffar. They cannot practice Sharia law. Drink is sold everywhere. They cannot enforce their Sharia. They dress like them and they pay tax. And the Prophet, he said, the one who practice like them, he is one of them. And the one who take them awliya, he is one of them. The Muslim, they will say, you are lying. It doesn't mean that. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Here we go. For sure, Ibn Kathir, he is a stupid, right? No, Zibi. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, the sea, and this is the English translation, which I don't approve. I told you, it's made just to deceive you. Allah forbid his believing servant from having the Jews, Christians, as a friends, because they are the enemies of Islam. How many of those who live in the West they dare to say that the Christians are the enemies of Islam, which means we have to slaughter them. You see, even those potatoes who make videos against me, they don't dare to say, let us do jihad against Christian prince. Potatoes, they live in the West. But if they are living in ISIS country, they will say, kill him. But they are cowards, they don't dare. If you cannot even take them as a friend for a normal Christian. And those who do that, Allah, he curse them. Read carefully. 
And if any of you among you be boy, boyfriend them, befriend them, then surely he is one of them. Okay. Who is the one protecting Saudi Arabia, USA? Who is the one protecting Emirat, USA? How many uh, army base USA have in Turkey? Three. And Qatar, one. And Saudi Arabia, more than eight. Hmm? Iraq. Emirat. Bahrain they are not Muslims the one who befriend them he is one of them and because Islam is not practical Muslims they don't want to practice it if now the Muslims they say okay we don't want America to protect us we don't want England we don't want France Iran will eat them the Shia will eat the Sunni overnight not only as a friends even as a protectors <laughs> only those who they have sickness in their heart they will do that the hypocrite the false muslims those who hurry to friendship with the Christians, they are false Muslims. And you would be sorry for that. Do you see it? And this is why no Muslim want to practice Islam. I mean, all Islamic countries, they live under the shadow of a Christian countries or China or, you know, countries which is not Islamic. All of us we knew. And here you see the hateful cult of Islam. He, he forbid Muslims from taking us as a friends. If you go back in the top for some people who, you know, like they say, oh, you are trying to make division. I am not making division. I'm just showing you. The for the forbidden of taking the Jews and the Christians and enemy of Islam as a friends. Christians and Jews and enemies. You see, Christians, any Christians, Jews, any Jews and enemy, any enemy. Allah forbid his believing servant from having Jews and Christians as a friend. It doesn't say like uh, some bad, bad Christians, uh, Christian prince as an example, he is fighting. No. And the one who take them as a friend, he is one of them. He is out of Islam. If you go to chapter 3, verse number 28, so some people will say, okay, so how Muslim they say to us, we are, I have a Muslim, uh, a Christian friend, or they take me as a friend. I go to their house, they are nice to me. Hmm. The answer is here. Again, this is not my interpretation, this is not my statement. Oh, who you believe, take not my enemies as your enemies and your enemies as a friends. We just showed you Christians and Jews are enemies. Connect. Chapter 5, verse 51. And the one who does that he went astray from Allah. All right? Okay. Oh, who you believe, take not friends, for uh, uh, not for friends, disbelievers instead of believers. Very clear verse. Different verse. Oh, who believe, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. And the one who befriend them is surely one of them. Then, and those who will disbelieve are allies to each other, which means they cannot take us as protectors. So how USA and Saudi Arabia are, uh, you know, like they are, they sign agreements and Emirat and Bahrain. How, how Turkey, Erdogan, he is part of the NATO. 
Erdogan, who is a Muslim Brotherhood, how he can explain to us being part of the NATO, which is nothing but a Christian organization, if we can say, as population, not as a belief, as let us say, practice of Christianity. All the countries there. He is the only country is a Muslim country. Why Erdogan? Somebody would say, well, they are part of the NATO before he came and became. Okay, he's there almost for 20 years now. Can't he get out? He can get out. So why he is part of the NATO? Because Islam is not practical. So the hypocrisy here, they have to practice another rule. They practice taqiyya, unless you indeed fear danger from them. Meaning, except those who believe, uh, you know, those who believers, who in some areas or time fear their safety from the disbelievers. So I cannot, uh, you know, I'm Erdogan, I will go bankruptcy. If I say to America, death to America, I will do jihad against you. So what I do? I allow them to come to my country. They have bases, they have army, and we, we provide them with gas, we provide them with food to buy, we provide them with shelter, we provide the land for them, and they and, and they fly in, the, in our sky, and it's okay. Well, this is the concept of Dar al-Harb and Dar, Dar, the Dar, it's mean the land or the house. So house of Harb is house of war, house of Salam is house of peace. And any land which is not under the Islamic government is a house of war. And the one actually who take Christians and Jews, and we, we, we showed you the verses one by one, as a friends, for real, he have no honor, he have no respect from Allah, and he will be, he will be killed. A Muslim, he will say, it doesn't say that, where it says that, let me show you. Give me a second. Because, you know, I know, after we hang up, they will say he's lying to them. TP. You're lying, TP. Ah, okay. It doesn't say that, TP. You know, the cats and the rats. This website, for some reason, is not opening. But I have many videos anyway. You can open it. I'm trying to open this website, you know, just to let you know. Maybe later you can try to open it yourself. And then you go to chapter 3, verse 28. And read the interpretation. All right? <clears throat> just go. And when this website works, right now it's not working, as you see, it's down for me. Each time I try to go, it says, the connection has timed out. I cannot open it. All right. You will see there, it's clearly it says, that the one who take them as a friend, he have no protection. He have, uh, uh, he is not a Muslim, he's out of Islam. And his honor, his uh, his money is like free, which means kill him. Kill him, take his money, take his property. All right? Now, going back, not only Islam is not practical today, Islam is rejected as idea by Muslims. Okay. If we ask all those Muslims who make videos in YouTube, do your wife wear perfume? They do. If you go right now and search how much Muslims they spend money on perfume, you will not believe it. Billions of dollars. They are obsessed with perfume. Muhammad, he said, a woman who wear perfume, she is a whore. If she walk in front of people who they are strangers. I never saw a Muslim woman wearing perfume when she is in the room. They wear it when they are in the street. Let us see the hadith. <laughs> 
So if you are a Muslim woman and you are listening, you are going to go to hell according to Muhammad. Let us see. I mean, look at this filthy man. Just because a woman, she had perfume, she became a whore? Why? What is exactly she did? And here, this is the hadith. The Messenger of Allah said, any woman who puts on perfume then pass by people so that they can smell her frequency, she is adulterous. This is the crime she did. When the last time you saw a woman, Muslim woman, she didn't have perfume when she go in the street? I never saw one. Makeup. What about makeup? What about women going out with makeup, showing her face with makeup? It's the same. Exactly the same. Let us see some hadith. And this is why I'm telling you, Islam is dead. The Muslim, they cannot practice Islam. No Muslim, no Muslim will practice Islam. The only, the only people who practice Islam is ISIS. I'm telling you, this is the truth. Let us see. Uh, actually we can go from the Quran first and let's go to the Quran more powerful than the Hadith it is here Let us go for this one. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. The good Muslim is the one who stay in her house. This is about the females. And the one who don't display her beauty in any way, in any mean. And the one who pray and obey Allah. Now, maybe Christian Prince, he have different understanding here. What maybe this is doesn't doesn't mean that. Let us go, chapter thirty three, verse number thirty three. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Maybe we got it wrong. You never know. Let us see what the Muslim says. Right. Women they used to go out walking in front of men, and this is was the baroj, just walking in front of men. <laughs> Staying home is the good place for you. Uh, <clears throat> you can go to the masjid, to to the mosque. Like they they split the mosque to two part, but. Staying home is the best place for you. Even though go to the mosque is okay, 
but staying at home is even better and don't do tabaraj which mean go in front of men and walk who's saying that not me christian prince mujahid said women to use go out walking in front of men so if you are a muslim woman and you go in the street walking in front of men you are going to hell when they don't when they go out of their homes walking in shameless I mean, what does that mean? What, they are naked? Wearing bikini? No. Because this is shame to walk in the front of men. Read carefully here. Tabarroj is when a woman put khimar on her head but doesn't tie it properly. Oh, 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 oh that make her a very filthy woman so her necklace earring and neck all can be seen oof, 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 oof. go and see shabir ali you know i made a video before i thought this is a woman he is uh, doing an interview with her it turned to be this is his daughter go and see how much makeup she have showing her neck and her earring <laughs> showing her neck brother she is show she what she is doing brother she is showing her neck brother now the muslim they will say no the verse doesn't mean that it say this is a mika theor do you see it and here we go phil he is posting the link for you you can save it so what what the what the crime women they are doing here? They are showing their necklace and earring and neck. When the last time we saw Muslim women, she is not showing her earring and her neck and her necklace. The only one we see they don't do that is ISIS, Al Qaeda, Taliban. The rest are not Muslims. Go to Algeria. Go to Morocco, go to Tunisia, go to Egypt. In Egypt, number one country in the world in belly dancing. Women almost wearing nothing. Now, if I don't show you that this is Ibn Kathir saying that, the Muslim, they will say, he's lying, it's not true. Islam allowed women to show her neck. It's not my opinion, here we go. We can show you other scholars. The purpose here of our video today is show you why Muslims cannot practice Islam. And that's why I'm not really, you know, uh, you see, I spend my time to teach people so they will not be mistreated and go to hell. It's not because I'm worried about Islam. Islam is dead. Nobody practices Islam. Who is the one who practices? Like all those Fifi, Mimi, Susu, do this women, do their women show her neck or not? They do. They show their face, they show their neck, they put perfume and they wear jeans. And actually, the most funny jeans is the Islamic jeans, where the women she put hijab, and the jeans is going all the way in the garage. You know what I'm talking about. No, see, I mean, she is not even wearing the jeans. The jeans is wearing her. And not only they put makeup, they put. 10 kilograms of makeup in their faces when they get out. I remember once I was in the Philippines and a Muslim with a beard. He have his wife, you know, I swim, I take a side. I don't like to, I don't like to swim with the crowd, you know. So I walk really far. So where is nobody? I mean, you know what I mean? I was there swimming almost for an, uh, an hour. And then suddenly Abdul and his wife, she is wearing a, a, a burqa. He went inside the beach and he, you know, he keep, you know, he keep walking toward me. And then when he arrived to me, he said, uh, please stay away, stay away. I said, what's wrong with you? Why stay away? I am here before you. You don't like it? Go, you, you stay away. Don't you see me before you jump in the water? Why you, why you jump here? 
and then he shouted at her, Get out! Get out! The coward, he did not shout at me, he shouted at her, at the wife. Get out! Get out! And she started getting out. And now her burqa is wet. And she is wearing nothing underneath. Honest to God, you can see every single detail because the burqa stuck in her body. The burqa stuck literally. I mean, even, even if it's naked, you will not see that. Every single inch in her burqa stuck in her body. And this is supposedly a good believer, brother. So Islam is not a practical, Islam is a stupid cult. Islam literally is a stupid cult. And by the way, you know, about, about clothing, uh, clothing can be deceiving. There's many women. If you go like as an example in Brazil, they have different culture. Those people, they used to be walking naked before they became Christians. You know, they used to be totally naked. They were nothing. It's a hot country and they have their own culture. So if you think a woman wearing short, she is a whore, that means you are stupid. That means literally you are stupid. And actually, the burqa is the best clothing for a whore. Because if your husband see you in the street walking with somebody, he will not recognize you. I know a guy, you know, he chased a girl. And this is a true story, brother. This is not Sahil Bukhari. He chased her, saying to her bad words, you know, like, you know, filthy words. This is, this is, this is Middle Eastern style. And she keep walking, she keep walking, and he's following her, saying to her, and she look at him, and she keep walking, and he will not stop. But he cannot recognize who is she, because she is wearing the burqa. And guess what? She keep walking, and then she enter his house. He thought maybe she know him, she is coming to complain to his father. It turned out to be his sister. You believe it? He was walking after her, step by step. You have nice bum, you have la 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 la, let us go somewhere, etc. etc. This is la 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 la. And she stopped and she looked at him, you know, but he cannot see her face. And then she continued walking. She keep walking, she keep walking, she keep walking, and then she went to his house. He said, Oh, oh. She must be knowing my family. She knew me. And now she will tell my dad. So he was worried about that. But he never thought that this is his sister. This is how stupid the cult of Islam is. Your wife, she can go sleep around and nobody will know. Nobody. Even if your brother saw her with somebody, nobody will notice. I told you before a story about a guy he locked the house down when he leave. He have a metal door. He have bars in the windows. No phone. Nothing. And he allowed his wife only to have visitors when he is home. The woman, she is a very good woman. She obeyed the husband. Only when you are there, honey. When he is there, a woman, she come at the door wearing burqa. She knock at the door. He opened the door. The women don't talk. Haram! Because the Muhammad, he said, the voice of a woman is a aura, faraj. Women's voice is a aura. If she's a woman speak, she is, she is, her, that is, that is a vagina. Even her voice is a vagina. So he's haram. He cannot talk to her, to hear her voice. So he called his wife. He says, hey, your friend is here. Take her to your bedroom. Six months, six months, and the women come in to visit his wife. And he was happy because his wife, she don't invite anyone when he is not home. Anyway, he is ducking the door. So he's happy for that. 
And then one day his sister come to visit him. And because she's a female, she can join the females in the room. When the sister, she went to the room, he told her, go, my wife, she have a friend. So she went there, she found her, his wife sleeping with a guy who come to visit her for six months wearing burqa. Six months, a boyfriend having sex with the wife in the present of the husband. Because he's not allowed to speak to the woman, he's not allowed to see her, he's not allowed to enter the room. So he leave them alone. He's a good Muslim. So, you know, and you know, if you if you if you look at the uh, what Islam uh, was able to do by creating such a stupid rules like separating between male and female, that increased the crime, sexual crimes, rape, uh, sleeping with the uh, family members. Uh, you know, I made a video before. I don't know how many of you watch it. You can search it in, in, in YouTube. Uh, a doctor from the uh, Royal Hospital of the Army, she said that 45%, as I remember the percentage, of Saudi, they have sexual relationship with family member, which means brother and sisters. And similar almost number, they are, they practice male to male or female to female. Because this religion, when it created taboo or taboo, those people cannot go and live normally. When you forbid something in, 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 in a stupid way, things will go wrong. If I go right now to go to YouTube, and I will type one word, and I will show it to you on the screen. Just one word. I'm not looking for sex. No, I'm not looking for something supposedly bad. No. I will type the word ma'alaya. Word what? Ma'alaya. Would mean lift it up. <laughs> lift it up. Lift it what up? What? What exactly they are going to lift up? This is what you will find, my friend. Look with me. This is the Middle East. The religious Middle East. Do you see the religious Middle East? And all of them, they are wearing hijab, brother. For sure. I mean, we are very religious. Do you see it? Tens of thousands of videos. Shake it with hijab. Look at this guy. Look, 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 look where he's looking. Look, look. And look at the sheikhs all, all over wearing, wearing the Arabian clothes. Do you see them? Do you see here? Do you see? I mean, this guy is focusing in the map, you know, like, okay, you know, all right. Look at this. And they do not only that, when they dance, they do sexual dance. Look at this. I don't know if you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Women, they sleep in the top of each other. Look at this. Do you see it? Do you see this one? They are wearing hijab, very decent. Look at this. Alhamdulillah. I mean, I can keep going forever, ever, ever. Even the YouTube is not loading the videos. Look. You know, if you move fast. Actually, this one, I played this video a while ago, and the song was Allah, 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 Allah. <laughs> So why why people they will go that far? You know, this is not normal. I mean, this is literally not normal. Because simply this cult creates such a taboo, and the taboo will lead to wrong living style. So they claim to be very decent. They pray to Allah in the month of Ramadan. All Saudi Arabia is in Thailand. In Turkey, in El Bosnia, night clubs. But nobody speak about decency. Look, let us praise Allah. Look at this. If I click on it, you will not believe it. I mean, what you will, what you will see. 
I will post the link, but I'm sure if I post the link, that will uh, will make many people go out of my channel right now. <laughs> they want to see what happened in there. <laughs> so you know, if you if you talk to them, they speak about the kuffar, how bad night club, and you know, they drink. I mean, they do everything you can imagine. Not only that, they do extreme. Extreme. Yet, nobody speak about decency as they do. Hypocrisy. Western women, they are bad. Western women, they are sick. You know, uh, they, they, they sleep around. You know, all, all. Uh, no. It's endless. I mean, there is there is hundreds of thousands of videos. I mean, you cannot watch. There's a competition here. <laughs> Look at this. Look what she is doing. Look at this one. I don't know if you can see it clearly in the picture. <laughs> and the important brother, they are wearing hijab. We have to remember that. I mean, come on. Hijab is there. I mean, this is very important. We cannot deny that there is a lot of decency here. I mean, if I keep scrolling, oh, look at this guy. <laughs> this guy, he must be, was debating me one day. I mean, what happened to him? Okay. <laughs> anyway, let us get rid of this. Enough is enough. So this is why we say Muslim didn't really want Islam. Muhammad, he allowed Muslims to have sex around, but you have to do it in a certain way. Like you practice muta, you rent a woman for one night stand, and that is legal. You know, but no music, just sex. No drinking, just sex. And the Sunni, to overcome what Shia believe in, because they want to practice it, they created a new name. That's why if you go to my book, uh, Sex and Allah, you will find how many uh, uh, like names of marriages they have but all of them they are fraud none of them is a marriage this is why when a Muslim he try to practice Islam Muslims they stop him for Islam is stupid nobody wanna practice Islam Nobody. You know, let me show you here. If you remember, the Muslim, they play a video of me speaking to a Muslim and I said to her, suckle me. And the Muslim, they tried to, to, make, to make me look bad. So they cut the video, coward. Muhammad, he ordered Muslim women. In order to associate with strangers, they have to suckle them. They have what? To suckle them, which means Muslim women, she have to take off her boobs and she have to give up her nipples to the strange man. So, oh, to make it simple, if a Muslim woman, she want to go according to Islam in the airplane, she have to suckle every man in the airplane 10 different times in 10 days before she can go there. There is an interview made by Egyptian Muslim women with the sheikh. So she told him, okay, so you are saying now, all those women who work with me, the, the decor engineer, the DJ, uh, the, the lighting engineer, technicians, the director, I have to suckle them? He said, absolutely. Hold on. Because they will say he's lying. And then the Muslims, they went mad from this because most of them, they do not know. They never heard of this before. All right. <clears throat> this is the news. 
a fatwa on women breastfeeding for adult men was issued by Islamic cleric. Okay, okay, what is that? Islamic adult breastfeeding fatwa. Controversy over uh, 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 over Saudi Arabia over fatwa promoting breastfeeding. This is a video you can watch it. Uh, Middle East breastfeeding fatwa causes a stir. A Saudi cleric issue fatwa uh, okay in adult breastfeeding feeding. <laughs> fatwa promote adult breastfeeding. <laughs> Sorry, straight. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> And look how conservative and crazy this cult. You cannot shake hands with them, but you can suckle their breast. And you have to do it 10 different times in 10 different days until you are satisfied. Do you believe it? And you know the one who is issuing those what they called fatwa, fatwa which means holy, like a holy uh, order, is the highest scholars of Islam. This is not somebody coming in like in YouTube making a video. He is no one. Those are the biggest scholars, the highest authority. But why they are doing that? Because simply, uh, look at this news here. <clears throat> who is the one who issued that? And then the Muslim, they try to get away with it. They say, oh, it's about, you know, putting milk in a cup. It's called breastfeeding, you adult, uh, you idiot. What uh, cup? What cup? They try to fix it. Secondly, well, do you think the women she have a faucet to give milk to everybody? I mean, do you think she is a goat? Even goat, if she don't have a baby, she don't have a, a, a milk. <laughs> what do you mean milk? <laughs> Aisha, she used to order her nieces and her sisters. To suckle anyone want to enter upon her. Aha! Uh -huh. Imagine now, Aisha, she is instead of uh, uh, Melina Trump, the wife of Trump. And she live in the White House. Anyone want to enter upon Aisha, he have to suckle the breast of her nieces. There's a line of women, they are nieces, sisters of Aisha. You go to the office of their her nieces and you start suckering. You will find a Trump there doing it there, you know. Trump, he will love it. Hmm? I mean, this is religion. Read it. This is not my word. Read it. Is that Christian prince saying that? No. Why Aisha she did that? Because Muhammad he ordered a woman she give her breast to an adult. The woman she said to him, How am I going to suckle him? You see, and this is how they lie. They say, this is, uh, she give uh, a cup of uh, milk. It says, suckle him, suckle him. Do you even know what suckle mean? Suckle him. Suck. Yeah, here a black uh, angel, she is saying something. Let us see. About, just another stupid thing about this cult. They announced jihad on uh, Mickey Mouse. Why Mickey Mouse? Because he is the enemy of Allah. I mean, this is not only this religion is stupid and not practical. It's crazy. It's, it's dangerous. I mean, those people are not only coming from the, uh, this religion, not only coming from the cave time. It is the cave time. Mickey Mouse. 
You want to kill Mickey Mouse? And by the way, Mickey Mouse say hello, he is fine. Okay? Even Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse must die. <laughs> and look at the stupid logic. They were saying, when our children, they watch Mickey Mouse, they will like the mice. And this is against Allah. Allah the, the mice is the enemy. Have you ever heard of a God? His enemy is a mice. I mean, what's wrong with this God? How much insecure he is? The Mickey Mouse is a threat. Because now our children, they will watch Mickey Mouse and they will like Mickey Mouse, but he is the enemy of Allah, the brother. So Mickey Mouse must die. <laughs> and this is why nobody want Islam. Muslim don't want Islam. Nobody want Islam. This is this is stupid cult, stupid religion. What about forbidding having dogs? If you have a puppy, Allah hate you. A brother. Oh hold on, I remember something more stupid. Just wait. Something you will not believe that it's forbidden. <clears throat> Let us see if I can find it in English. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Read this, which you cannot believe. I saw. I saw some agriculture equipment and I said I heard the prophet saying there is no house in which this equipment enters except that Allah will cause humiliation to enter it can you believe it who can practice this garbage cult the reason Muhammad he forbid them from having agricultural equipment because he wanted criminals who do invade, not people who do farming. The rest of the world will farm for us. We will make them as slaves. For us, we are just carrying swords. So, which country is willing to give up agricultural equipment from now on Pakistan Saudi Arabia Egypt Sudan Algeria Morocco even this if you do it Allah will humiliate you Allah will disgrace you and what they will say to you, this is weak hadith, brother. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. The most authentic book ever, the Muhammadan they have. Uh, David, we, will talk, we, can, we can talk about this time. Uh, you know, let us focus on this topic here. So do you see why Muslims, they cannot practice Islam? Islam is a stupid cult. It's a garbage. Let us go now to, uh, to something else. He who kept a dog would lose out of his deed equal one kirat every day. <laughs> hey guys, how many of you have dogs at home? How many of you have dogs at home? Tell me. <clears throat> If you have a dog at home, give me one. I don't have dogs. Because I don't have time for them. 
You need to walk them. You need to take care of them. You know, you cannot just bring an animal, just let him in a cage. You know, it's not right. Okay. Brother, if you have a dog in your home, brother, he, Allah, will take one kirat, like one kilogram of deed from your account every day. <laughs> I mean, this is Mickey Mouse is the enemy of Allah. Dogs are the enemy of Allah. Lizard, what about lizard? Even do you know that Muhammad he issued jihad? Uh, Georgie, I wish I can have one, but I cannot. You see, I travel, I go, I you know I, I don't have any. Who's going to take care of them? You see, you have to be nice with with the animals. You cannot just bring an animal and abuse him, right? Uh, you know, you have a dog, you have to walk him. Otherwise, poor dog, he will, you know, he, he will be depressed. Uh, you see, the idea of having animals is very good. I mean, it, it's a, it's a good uh, therapy for a human being too. To have, it's uh, animals are very friendly, uh, but you have to be careful because don't be selfish and abuse the animals. They they have the they are living creatures. They have emotion. They feel. So if you have a dog, you have to walk him. You have to, if he gets sick, you have to give him medicine. Uh, you have to feed him in time. You have to take him out to do poo-poo. So uh, having a dog is a responsibility, which I, uh, I cannot really afford. Now, but here we see the stupidity of this cult. I mean, it's a dog. Why Allah is, why Allah is angry from you for having dog? What is the problem exactly? What is exactly what you what 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 is the sin you commit? I mean, what's what's wrong with this religion? The answer is very simple. Muhammad, dogs hate him. For he is evil. You see, there are some vicious dogs. We have to agree some. But dogs, generally speaking, I mean. They have their territory, you know, like if you get close to their territory, they get upset, especially if they are not used to socialize. But obviously, Muhammad, he could not find one dog he liked him. So he hated dogs. Actually, even Muhammad, he claimed that the angels stopped coming to his house because there was a dead dog under the bed or a or living dog. Some hadith says they don't say it's a dead and some story they say it was dead. I mean, imagine what kind of God he cannot enter a house or an angel because you have a dog. In different hadith, Muhammad he says, houses don't enter a house, have a bill or a dog. Why? The Prophet said the bill is one of the musical instrument of shaitan. <laughs> I heard Messenger of Allah uh, saying, Angels do not enter a house which there is a small bill. Small bill? Dringle bell, jungle bell. <laughs> Why? Why? Any Muslim can explain to us what is the weakness of your God? Huh? <clears throat> what kind of God? What is the problem exactly? If you have a, a, a name for me one Muslim, he don't have a bill in his phone. Name for me one Muslim, he don't have a bill in his house. You see, when I say Islam is a stupid cult, nobody will practice it. You see, all, all those who defend Islam, they claim to, they are false Muslims, they are not Muslims. Right? <clears throat> Angels will not enter a house. Jibreel have 600 wings and he can cover the horizon according to Muhammad. Yet he cannot get a house, have a dog. And look, uh, Bill is the instrument of shaitan. But do you know that Muhammad, he received Quran in the sound of a bell? I mean, look, look how many times he's saying the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan. 
Bell is the musical instrument of shaitan. And then look what he said. Look at this stupid idiot. He said that sometime he receive uh, his revelation in a in a sound resemble the sound of ringing bell. Do you see it? How you keep saying that bell is a, is a musical instrument of shaitan and then you yourself you receive Quran in a sound of a bell. Have you ever heard of a stupid donkey more than this donkey? Imagine I keep saying to you if you hear a bell this is the a musical instrument of shaitan this is the musical instrument of shaitan music and then I say to you, I became a prophet, and my God, He sent me a revelation, brother, in a sound of a, a musical instrument of Shaitan. And you know, there is a question about this here. Okay, if Muhammad he receive a sound of a bell, the end of the chapter, I mean brother, I mean, okay, he received a chapter right now as a sound of a bell, how this became Arabic? You know what I mean? He receive what? He receive a sound of a bell, or what resembles sound of a bell. Okay, how the sound of a bell became Arabic? This is Al Fatiha. Okay, how he translate? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? But I will tell you, brother. Prophet Muhammad was the first brother who discovered this way. Of communication brother bravo bravo Charlie Charlie bravo okay what what how he translate the sound of a bell into Arabic he Allah did not give him the Quran Arabic he gave him to him in the sound of a bell I mean, this cult is officially stupid. Yeah, but obviously Muhammad is behind the Morse code because, okay, listen, don't you notice? Allah gave him a brilliant term. The other person, the Christian print, and the Christian print is the liar. He always lied. The prophet, he received sound like a bill. It's not a bill. It sounds like a bill, like a teridin, 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 but it's not a bill, brother. But it says, resembles the sound of a bell. And then the sound of the bell became Arabic. So as you see, there's nothing in this cult can be, I mean, it's this, nothing can be practiced. I mean, what, who in the world want to believe in this garbage? Dog is haram. Okay, hold on. What about, do you know that Islam waged jihad against lizard? Lizard. Lizard. Why? Why we should do jihad against lizard? Let us see why. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Brother and sisters, let me introduce for you a nation of the Jews. Allah, he made them lizard. How Muhammad he discovered that the lizard are Jews? From their fingers. They have five fingers. 
Isn't it obvious you stupid custom pants? I mean, it's very obvious. Hello? Let me call uh, 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 Benjamin Netanyahu. Hello? Habibi Christian Prince, how are you, Habibi? Uh, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, I have a, a question for you. How many fingers you have? Excuse me, let me count my fingers. I have one finger, two finger, three finger, uh, four finger, and five finger. Okay, uh, Netanyahu, I have a bad news for you. Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, okay, well, obviously, your DNA finger is leading me that you are coming from the family of lizards. Habibi, Christian, Chris, Habibi, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm from Israel. I'm a Jew. I, uh, I, I pray to, uh, you know, uh, what do you mean? I'm, I'm a human. Uh, no, but Netanyahu, I mean, come on, we have to face your destiny. It's so clear. I have a clear evidence in front of me that you are a lizard. Your family too. Ah, your nation. I'm very sad now how I became a lizard. Because the Prophet, he discovered, the Prophet Muhammad, he discovered from your fingers, you have five fingers, a lizard have five fingers, it's obvious. Is that Sahih? Omar, yes, this is Sahih, here we go. <laughs> Super intelligent religion and prophet. I mean, this guy, and look how much he hates the Jews. Okay, let us say he saw the lizard have five fingers. Okay, well, there is many animals have fingers, uh, five fingers. So what? I mean, look at this crazy idiot. And there is uh, there is different hadith. Let me see the one about uh, fighting the lizard. Here we go, brother. Hold on. Look at the jihad. The prophet he waged jihad against lizard. The prophet said, "Hold on. This is this is one need uh, need a special effect. <clears throat> we cannot just do it like this, you know." I mean, come on, you cannot. Brothers and sisters, the lizard is our enemy for today. If you see a lizard, shoot and loot. The prophet said, the one who kill a lizard from the first shot, he will receive an amazing reward. From the second shot, less reward. From the third shot, the less of the reward. So please kill him from the first shot. Like what the heck? I mean, is this guy Muhammad is really a prophet or is mentally ill? First shot, second shot. I mean, and why Allah will give you reward if you kill him from the first? Ah, hold on. Brother Victor, Christian Prince asking question. Why Allah will give you reward if you kill him from the first shot? The answer is very clear. And only smart people can understand it. Because Allah is saving and missing. He is saving what? In the mission? Exactly. What? I never thought about this. The reason Allah will give you extra reward if you kill it from the first shot because he is saving in the mission. Isn't it obvious? I mean, come on. What's wrong with you? Why you don't use your brain? Uh, people they say to me when you when you make uh, Zakir Naik and the answer do you think about it in advance I said I know I just do it right away <laughs> I 
I create the answer in a second, <laughs> just for fun. I mean, look at this stupid cult. Good first shot and say, this is a lizard. Why you want to kill him anyway? And what this is a holy war against lizard now? Now, we need to know why. If you, if you know the reason behind it, brother, you will respect the prophet. Let me show you why the prophet, he ordered to do jihad against the lizard. There is a very decent reason, brother. Look at the story. Aisha, she is reporting what she heard from her husband, Mumu, the mother of the believers, which means Aisha, she said. I was narrated from blah, 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 blah. She entered upon Aisha and she spoke, saw a spear in her, in, 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 in her house, spear. She said to her, oh, mother of believers, what do you do with this? She said, <laughs> we killed the house lizard with it. For the Prophet of Allah told us that when Ibrahim was thrown into the fire, there was no beast in earth that did not try to put it out apart from the house lizard. He that he blow on it. Like, what the heck? The lizard was trying to kill Abraham, brother. There again, there again, there again, then, then, there again, there again, there again, then, then, there again, there again, there again, then, then, da 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 da. Animals coming from the jungle, 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 jungle. You know, and, and, and trying to save. I mean, this story needs a special effect. We cannot just do it like this. We have to do something. I mean, come on, we have to do something. What is this, man? Let us do it this way. But I need to put my headset. I forgot to put the headset. Hold on, it's okay. I was going to do echo for you. <laughs> I mean, man, this story must be true. All animals in the world, they came to stop the fire of Ibrahim, except Mr. Lizard. Look at this ugly lizard. Disgusting. A brother? This is a true story. I mean, why it's not a true story? Have you ever heard of a Muslim making a video to make fun of his prophet and this story? How come his story is accepted by all of them? Brother? I mean, but you know what? The story makes sense. Let me show you some pictures. Look with me, brother. Isn't it obvious that this is an enemy of Allah? I mean, do I need even to talk about it? First, he is a proud. Look, his, his head up. He challenged Allah. Second, his, he looked like a dragon. Number three, he is looking at us. Number four, obviously he is thinking about something bad. Number five, he don't say, inshallah. Number six, uh, he don't have YouTube channel. Number seven, <laughs> he did not sign a Facebook. Number eight, he have five fingers, which means, according to Muhammad, he's a Jew. Let me talk to him in Hebrew. Khabibi Ghazad. Khabibi Ghazad, do you hear me, Khabibi? Ghazad, are you there? Okay, Ghazad. If you like to take some more gears, Call me, okay? I will give you my phone number in, in Tel Aviv. Okay, Habibi. So, the end of the conversation. I was speaking to a lizard. This is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. And those are stories coming from God. Oh boy. 
How many of you here is first time? How many of you here first time? If you are first time, take my advice and leave because you will be addicted. I'm, I'm telling you, you will be addicted. You will keep coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Don't just just go. My, it's my advice to you. <laughs> Don't subscribe so you will not find our channel again and go. Trust me, you will be addicted. And not, not, not only that, you might get fat because you, uh, I mean, uh, I don't use the word fat, you would be overweight, sorry, because you will laugh a lot. This is a comedy uh, religion. I'm not being a comedian. Muhammad is my comedian. He's the best comedian in the world. Look at this madness. <clears throat> what is this man actually I'm thinking to convert to Islam man I'm on to on join jihad against lizard hey guys what, what do you think about we make an army to fight lizards we will call it the brigade special mission lizard oh no mission impossible I mean, we will make a movie hold on uh, it's called lizard I don't know mission impossible Lizardo, like it's like a spaniel, like you know. Okay, no, no, hold on. Amigo lizard in the desert of Mexico. What do you think? I don't know. The name is not treated. We want we want a name which uh, will make it very attractive. Okay, hold on. Uh, hmm. I, I want to make a name help the Democrat. To impeach uh, Trump, uh, the Trump conspiracy with lizard against Democrat. That's a good one because Trump he obviously, uh, you know, he connected the lizard, so he will go and blow <laughs> at the Democrat, make them feel hot, and that will make them sweat. And then uh, Trump, he will sell their sweat in the Middle East, you know, as a sweet Democrat. I don't know. Any Muslim in the bushes want to say anything? Any Muslim? <clears throat> and you know, we need to remember, hold on, forget about the lizard now. <clears throat> I mean, what are you going to stuck for the rest of the night talking about lizard? This is not even nice. Shame on you, Christian Brands. Let us talk about something more practical and something more uh, nice. Mm -hmm. Guess what? According to Muhammad, even this guy is a Jew. We believe it. Even this guy is a Jew. Let me talk to him. Habibi, mice. Habibi. Uh, <clears throat> show me your fingers. Show me your fingers. Okay, let, me, let, us, let us zoom in the fingers of, the, uh, of this uh, uh, mice or rat. Unbelievable, brother. The prophet, he got it right. Unbelievable, mean. Look at this, brother. Okay, let us focus now in the mouth. Oh, brother, very close, brother. Look at the eyes, brother. What is missing is the hat. <laughs> because guess what, Prophet Muhammad, he claimed that rats are Jews and he discovered that because they don't drink she camel milk mean this prophet is very much scientific in his opinion let us see what the prophet said about that if you are first time here give me one in the screen in the chat if you are first one, first uh, first time here, give me give me one. I want to see. I want to see how many one, how many new people here. 
And why we have only almost 800 people? Where is the rest? Man. Yeah, <clears throat> those are the enemy of Allah. Look how many of them. But let us show you here. The Prophet, how he discovered that rats are uh, Jews. Look at this. I mean, this guy is super, super intelligent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to spend the night counting how many new ones. Nine. Ten. Okay, sorry, guy. I'm an Arab. I cannot count more than ten. I have to go back to zero. <laughs> By the way, we are the Arab, we are the one who started number zero, brother. And that's why we stayed there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyone is famous, they attach him to them. You see, when I was in school in the Middle East, uh, our teacher, he was so proud about us as an Arab. Arab, you know. So there's a sanction where it says Arabic scientist, Arab scientist. Okay, and he put the name in the board, Al Khawarizmi. And I was thinking, like, what this name mean? I mean, it doesn't make sense. In Arabic, when you say such a name, usually you attach the name to a place, you know. So I said, Sir, where is uh, what does this mean, Khawarizmi? He said, Oh, he is born in Khawarizm. I said, Okay, where is Khawarizm? He said, In Iran. <laughs> so I said, If he is born in Iran, that make him virgin. So how have you become an Arab? He said, sit down, sit down. Just, just don't ask me questions. Just sit down. The guy is from, he's a Persian. He's a Persian. He made him an Arab. Eh, that's the Middle East. Welcome to the Middle East. Anyway, the prophet said, a group of Israelis were lost. Oh, hold on. This is needs special effect music. We cannot just talk about it like this. This is needs some suspense, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, are you serious? You want to talk about such a serious topic without suspense, brother? You cannot, you know. A group of Israelis were lost and nobody knows. Nobody knows where they go. But but I see them. I don't see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. And now this is the scientific reasoning. For if you put the milk of a she-camel in the front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if the milk of a sheep will drink it. Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar. Pure, this is pure science. This is a pure science. I mean, who can deny this, Lord? This... This guy is genius, man. This guy literally is a genius. I mean, I don't know how many of you is a genius, but for sure he is the genie genius. <laughs> genie in the ball. What is that, man? I mean, this guy is super smart. So now, from now on, we can learn where people coming from. Let me teach you, brother. Based in the theory of Einstein, which his real name is Muhammad, if you drink water, and a donkey drink water, that means you're a donkey. Because donkey don't drink black label. So now you have things to share. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I mean, that's amazing. That is so smart. Hmm. 
I mean, where Muhammad he got this intelligence? And here you remind me. <clears throat> I mean, what you what do you mean you remind me? You cannot remind me of such a person. I was going to say uh, <clears throat> that Prophet Muhammad uh, he remind me of someone, but I apologize. I cannot say that. I have to take it back. Prophet Muhammad, his wisdom, his wiz and dumb. I mean, his. Uh, uh, I cannot say that. I mean, Prophet Muhammad. Obviously, he is the one who taught anyone in the world philosophy. I am sure that Buddha. He was one of his students. If we make an interview with Buddha, what Buddha will say? Buddha, have you ever met Prophet Muhammad before? Buddha, are you there? Exactly. See? Buddha did not say anything. That's mean he agreed. He was a student of a prophet Muhammad. Silence is a agreement. He admitted. And I was wondering where this guy Buddha is coming from. Who taught him? There is no way. Somebody, he taught him. Somebody super smart. Hmm. Fake. Buddha, don't claim, don't claim that this is your philosophy. And come on, we knew where it's coming from. We knew the lizard. You did not learn about lizard from yourself. This is Muhammad and the rats and the cats and the come on. Hey, Omar, are you leaving Islam or not yet, my friend? I actually I think you left Islam already, didn't you? Omar? Why you don't call me Omar? Why you don't call me right now? I will open Skype for you. Call me and denounce Islam live on air. What do you think? And don't worry, you are not the first one who call live on air and leave Islam. Another last one. I have thousands and thousands of Muslims left this cult. I don't even remember their names. I don't collect them. I don't count them because God bless them all. I do my duty, my friend, to share the truth. Anyway, if you feel you want to call me, feel free. <sighs> um, after all of this, I mean, how in the world people cannot believe in Islam? Super smart religion. The Prophet is super intelligent. Forget about him being bloody and filthy and crazy. No. All of this should be forgotten. The intelligence of the Prophet and the reasoning is beyond imagination. This is the only and the first Prophet who is scientifically correct. The only one. And the funny, the Muslims, they have like millions of videos in YouTube speaking about the science in the Quran, which is absolutely is a, is a fraud. Seven Ajwa. You see the Seven Ajwa here, it has a it has a miracle thing. Let me let me share with you the Seven Ajwa stuff, as long as you are asked for it. Seven Ajwa. You see here, there is some kind of in, a special intelligence. The Prophet said, He who eats seven ajwa, which means palm tree fruits, every morning will never be affected by poison or magic. 
I mean, how the prophet he knew that? Or what take is seven ajwa? Seven ajwa. And guess what? Muhammad he was affected by black magic according to Muslims and he died by poison. <coughs> mean i mean this guy he told us how to fight black magic and how to fight poison by eating seven ajwa and he eats seven ajwa every day yet he was affected by black magic and he died by poison mean what do you think brother Huh? Let us prove the point. Maybe the Muslim they will say liar. He did not buy bo he did not die by poison. Christian Prince, it's poison, not poison. Po it, okay, say with me. Po po poison. No. Poison. Poison. Okay. Well we give up. Well go teach Muhammad first how to read his name. Hello. You make fun of my English, brother? You have a prophet he do not even know how to write his name and he come with this old intelligence now look at what happened here the prophet said not me ah she said the prophet in his element which means the time he was dying which he died used to say used what to say okay i want you to make a line here about this because that's mean he repeated not once not twice used to say take a note please oh aisha oh aisha oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy 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 oh mommy Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, blue. The song, by the way, Oh, mommy, blue, is coming from this hadith. Because the poison is blowing the organs of the prophet. So in his element of death, he was singing. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, blue. La, 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 la. Oh, mommy. What? The heck? What is that? The prophet, he died because of poison. But do you know what the problem here? There's many problems. Maybe we should uh, continue this tomorrow. It's getting late here. And if I sing more, uh, I think the neighborhood, they will shoot me. <clears throat> A Muslim, he's saying, why you don't talk about details about your book? Read it, go read it and get the details in my book. Don't be cheapo. Brother, get my book, brother, and expose it, brother. <clears throat> Which book? I have many books. And more books to come, just wait. Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, poison blow me, oh, oh, mommy, I'm Muhammad, dying from poison, my altar is cutting off, la, la. The funny that the prophet, he said, if I am lying, Allah will cut my altar. I'm not saying correctly, right? Altar, what altar? There's nothing, it's called altar, hello? Eh. But a guy who don't speak good English, what you can say? Ahad akbar al adilla ala botlani dinakum ennakum kalada. Hold on, 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 hold on. Let me show you how they inherited the intelligence in this cult. Selfie. I just took a selfie for you, brother. I will make you famous. Here we go. 
This is a Muslim speaking in Arabic or texting in Arabic and he is saying the following. I will translate for you. Let us make it bigger. The biggest uh, proof that your religion is a fraud that you as usual make uh, uh, as usual as the kuffar before you you make fun you make fun you stupid idiot all your quran is making fun of the christians you donkey so you are saying that the one who make fun of somebody he is a false well isn't it your prophet he said we are kuffar we are filthy we are misleaded we are misguided we are nudges, which means we are dirty. We are pigs. We are monkeys. And look how stupid you are. Hold on. I have another smart Muslim. Many smart Muslims are coming. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so excited now. I mean, suddenly when I'm going to leave, they came. Another selfie. Here we go. I will make you all of you famous. Hold on. Okay, brother. Another selfie. <clears throat> this guy, his list name is Muslim uh, uh, Men Jawab. I don't know why this guy he don't call me because uh, uh, I like really to talk to him. You know, he's smarter than the rest. Look, I said the claim that he died by poison, due of his of his prophecy as Jews give him trial to kill him by black magic, black magic, and having in poison but still are failed mean muhammad the truth how failed he die you idiot i mean guys have you ever heard of a stupidity like this the hadith says that the guy died because of poison and it says they fail i mean do you see do you see the hadith says that the prophet in his element of death he keeps saying the poison I ate at Khaybar is cutting my orta. And this idiot, he said, it's feel. Like he died. I mean, she gave him the poison for what exactly? Let's think. She gave him the, uh, the poison so he will smell good. No? Okay. She gave him the poison so he can lick it and get the red lips. No? Okay. She gave him the poison to use as a perfume. No, you idiot. Look what you just did. You just admitted that she gave it to him as a trial because the Jewish woman, she said, well, if you are a prophet from Allah, Allah will save you. If you are not, you will be dying. You will die. You will be killed. And the prophet, he died. Are you blind, Min Jawab? I made you famous, huh? It's your fault. Here we go. Are you saying that your prophet, he was lying here? Because he is the one saying, Oh, Aisha. Oh, Aisha. I feel, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar at this time. At what? At this time? What was, what was the time? It was seven o'clock and five minutes. Take, take a note, take a note, my man Jawab. You are the smartest Muslim from Indonesia, brother. Actually, they should hang a picture for you in the top of every door. You holding a lizard in your hand because you are doing jihad against lizard, brother. I mean, you are the smartest. At this time, at what time? He was dying. I feel as if my orta being cut off. So you are saying the claim, you idiot? What the claim? Are you saying your prophet making a false claim? Because he is the one saying that, not me. This is a great example of the stupidity of those who defend Muhammad. By the way, I never saw a smart Muslim. The smart Muslim is the one who gave no answer for anything. This is the smart Muslim. Like uh, Shabir Ali, you ask him about tomato, he answered about uh, a potato. No answer. This is the only smart. The second they give an answer, bingo, they are gone. Uh, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you another another sign of stupidity. Selfie, selfie, please hold on. 
before he delete his comment man hold on the Muslim comment are priceless hold on hold on Muslim Arabic look like you have no idea you are talking to my friend you all all of you Muslims your IQ is not equal to my toes IQ here we go another selfie look what this Muslim he said the brother the brother he said something very important and everybody will be dying laughing at you brother in a second let me put you in the screen all right hey not this one the other selfie hold on look guys just to show you the stupidity the second you become a muslim you suffer from stupidity translation your god the one who been he died and he uh, torture ha 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 hold on hold on just to show you i remember once an idiot and he was from egypt we were having uh, you know like a, let us say early dinner there were two of them and two of them they are muslims and they knew i'm a christian the younger one when i say young doesn't mean he's really young and there's an older one which is his boss actually at work he said to me you know the muslim when they see an arabic christian they go crazy he say you know okay, i have a question for you okay if jesus is the son of god how come his father did not save him if he is son of god really his father should save him and this is exactly what this donkey is saying you idiot if jesus according to you not been killed neither torture are you laughing at yourself look what you just did muhammad he been tortured and he was killed like a rat by poison but in your stupid cult jesus was not killed neither tortured so if you are making fun you are making fun of your stupidity because now we need to ask ourselves why jesus in islam never been tortured and never been killed and yet the one who want to kill him the jews and yet Muhammad he died like a rat are you there Arabic Muslim I'm willing to open my sky for you if you have the courage do you have the courage do you have the courage no you don't you are a potato let me give you an idea what I mean because maybe you do not understand what I'm saying. Do you understand now? Just to make it clear for you visual if you are man enough call me otherwise you are potato 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 so they like to make fun of jesus saying jesus was torture but in islam he isn't torture so if what make jesus god is not dying well he did not die in islam that's mean in islam he's god you see the stupidity they say if Jesus is God, then he should not die. Well, in Islam, he did not die. So he must be God in Islam. Secondly, you idiot. God never died. The flesh of a human being died. God, he came to us in the image of a man, a flesh of a man. That's why he's born. But Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ, is exists before he was born. That's why he said before, uh, before Abraham, I am. Potato, 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 losing my voice. I'm losing, losing, losing. I'm losing, losing my voice. <clears throat> I like to dip the skin. I like to take it in. I like to fry it all. This is why they don't dare to call me. They knew they have a low IQ and they know they have no match and they are defending a stupid prophet. His name is Muhammad. This is why they challenge me, make videos against me, but they don't do it. And the one who call me is kids, you know, they're kids. They don't do it again. Or stupid ones who like to play videos and play the sounds of a donkey. Anyway, guys, I'm losing my voice, as you see, and time to eat potatoes.
This is the benefit of being single. What you will eat if you are single? Hmm. Yesterday I ate rice. Okay. The day before it rice. Uh huh. The day before it rice. Uh huh. Okay. Let me remember. And the day before that was rice. Okay. I mean, we're we're getting closer. I think we will keep eating rice until we arrive to Indonesia. <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> well, I eat rice better than eating a goat have poison in the shoulder, like what happened to Muhammad. Hello? This, do you see why I'm eating rice? It's more safe and secure. What if my neighbor, she gave me a goat to eat it? And look what happened to Muhammad. His orta is being cut off. I have to protect my orta. I have only one orta, brother. Only one orta. <laughs> All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And after you subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe because this will give you blessing from Allah, brother, if you are a Muslim. And don't forget to tell your friends about what we do. And feel free to download my videos and post them in your channel. But don't claim they are yours. As simple as that. Uh, if you don't mind, you can post a link of my uh, account here uh, so people will know where to find me. And uh, I don't make videos for me. I make them for you um, for the purpose of education so people will learn. And remember not to hate Muslims, please. Muslims are victims. Many of them, they are naive. They have no idea. Uh, there is some of them, they are practicing evil like killing, etc., but generally speaking, most of Muslims, they have no idea. They've been taught wrongly about us, taught to hate us. So we have to correct their information and help them. And this is exactly what we do here. I don't hate Muslims. I will never hate any. We are here. We are we are Christians. Me and myself, I'm a Christian. Uh, the Lord, my, my Lord, he said, love your enemy, bless them. So we pray for them. We pray for their salvation. But because we love them, we have to tell them the truth. If you love somebody, you don't hide the truth from him. You tell him exactly what is wrong. Your real friend is the one who make you cry to correct you, not the one who lie to you so you stay wrong. Your real friend, even if he see you dressing wrong, he will tell you because he wants you to appear in the best way. Your real friend, he will be worried about you. So he will spend from his time, from his life, to tell you how to correct yourself, how to fix it. Not because he hates you, not because he want to make fun of you. I'm not making fun of Muslims. I'm making fun of the founder of the cult. He's a criminal. And the purpose is to help the Muslims, not to be against them. So be loving, as a Christ he said, and never be a coward to say the truth. Those who hide the truth, they are partner of the crime. As simple as that. Those who don't want to share it, they are the same one who created the lie. Those who say Islam and Christianity, they worship the same God, they are guilty of a fraud. We don't. We don't have the same God. We don't have the same heaven. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? You have heaven different from the same God? Because you have, I mean, it's obvious. So be aware of false teachers who try to make you swallow Islam as if it is a religion, which is Abrahamic. It's not Abrahamic. Have nothing to do with Abraham. Have nothing to do with Jesus. Have nothing to do with Yahweh. Have nothing to do with any. Cult leaders, they steal names to deceive you, the same as Jehovah's Witnesses, the same as the Mormon. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. The Lord, he said, be aware of false teachers who will come to you in a clothes of a sheep. Muhammad, he did not even come in a clothes of a sheep. He come to you in a clothes of a wolf. So how fool are you to be deceived, to be deceived, to believe that a wolf is a sheep? Human being sometimes his foolishness is beyond 
understanding. Okay, Muslim Jawab, before I go, just to show you another stupidity of you. Before I before I go, uh, guys, hold on. Just to show you another way of a stupidity of this religion. It's a challenge for you, Muslim Jawab. As long as Jesus, he did hold circumcision, when your prophet did circumcised, can you show me the reference? Guess what? I will give you the coming 10,000 years to tell me when and why Muhammad did not get circumcision, you idiot. Do you see how stupid you are? Why Muhammad did not practice it? Did Muhammad did circumcise? No! Stupid! You just you just expose your prophet because your prophet is trying to copy the Jews, but he himself did not practice what the Jews practice. I will give you the coming ten thousand years to show me where Muhammad did circumcision. I want you to search Prophet Gogol, Prophet uh, Yahoo, Prophet uh, 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 Shish Kebab, Prophet Indonesia, Prophet Zakir Naik. Search all the donkeys you have in the world. They will give you an answer. This is how stupid you are. Copy paste. Copy paste. And that's why you never call me. Because you know I can smash you like this. Oh, like that. Oh, no, not like this. Because like that, that will make you juice. And we don't want to make the carpet dirty. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I will see you tomorrow, I hope, if I can. Christ is Lord. Islam is a stupid, made by a stupid, for the one who is a stupid. Are you? I hope not. I pray not. Thank you. Take care.